Staying Calm Before the Storm The state of Guantana Roo in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula has experienced many hurricanes. Luis Sandoval lived in the capital city of Chetumal when Hurricane Dean hit the coast. He was nine years old. On August 17, 2007, Louis Sandoval was eating a sandwich after school when, he f when the phone rang. It was his father who worked for the city government in Chetumal. Louis, is your mother there? he asked. No, Papa. She went to the supermarket with Pablo and Alex. Please, listen carefully. Hurricane Dean is moving in our direction. It will reach our coast in three or four days. The government has declared a state of emergency. Louis's heart started to beat quickly. Are we in danger, Papa? No, if we prepare. It may be as bad as Hurricane Wilma. Do you remember what we did then? Yes, Papa. Then start preparing all of you need to leave Chetumal and go further inland tomorrow morning. I will have to stay here. His father hung up. Lewis remembered Hurricane Wilma very well. A rise in the ocean, called a storm surge, flooded large areas along the coast. Almost 600 millimeters of rain fell in many places. Waves as high as 8 meters smashed violently into the third floors of hotels. Winds up to 240 kilometers per hour destroyed homes. Now the state of Quantana Roo was prepared for Hurricane Dean. The government was ready to help people leave the area. For those who couldn't leave, there were 530 local storm shelters with food, blankets, and medicine. However, families also had to protect themselves. Louis checked the emergency list in the storage room and gathered the following items. Emergency list, 20 liters of bottled water, one large box of dry and canned food, one small radio with batteries, one first aid kit, two flashlights, three boxes of tissue paper, four sleeping bags, emergency cash. Louis took out two small backpacks for his little brothers. They contained some clothes and were easy to carry. He took out two large backpacks for his mother and himself. He put some of the food, water, and supplies in each one. The rest of the supplies would go in the trunk of the car. Suddenly, Louis's mother appeared in the doorway. His little brothers, Pablo and Alex, were holding her hands tightly. Your father called me, his mother said. I tried to buy food and water, but they turned us away at the supermarket. There were too many people there. Don't worry, Mama, said Louis. I've already packed everything we need. Good, said his mother. We have storm shutters, but you and I have to help Aunt Alma put boards over her windows tonight. We'll leave early tomorrow morning. The next morning, Louis... His mother, his aunt, and his brothers left the city. They drove many kilometers inland and stayed at a storm shelter. They would be safe from the hurricane there. Louis's father remained in Chetumal, helping those who could not leave the city. Hurricane Dean made landfall near the town of Majual on Tuesday, August 21, 2007. It was a Category 5 storm with winds as high as 320 kilometers per hour. The high winds and water destroyed Majuhal. Parts of Chetumal, 65 kilometers south, had floods. However, thanks to excellent preparations by the government and the people of Quantana Roo, not one life was lost on the Yucatan Peninsula.